Rightio, Mass Legends. Today we're going to be looking at drawing, describing and interpreting line graphs and showing change over a period of time. Okay guys, today we're going to be looking at line graphs again. So we're going to be revisiting a concept that we've had uh, a little bit of experience in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the six points that you need when doing a line graph. I'm going to start off with the x-axis. Now the x-axis, the best way of remembering the x-axis is x is across. So because x is across, then the x-axis goes across the bottom. Uh, the, what I'll be looking for is to make sure that your gaps that are measured and their gaps are exactly the same distance. So you can see here that you can see that each of these gaps are all exactly the same width. And you'll see that the class interval, which is the jump in numbers is all the same. So you can see they all jump up by two. On our y-axis, I'll be looking to make sure that is labeled as well with the right gaps as well, measured out, as well as the right class intervals. So you can see that my class intervals on my y-axis are going up in 10. I'll be looking for my three titles, my one at the top, my main title, and then an X and Y axis titles. Now you see I did those around the wrong way. The last thing that I'll be looking for is I'll be looking for your data plotted and used a ruler and accurate. Now on this one here, you can see that I'm looking at the data table on the left. And the data table on the left is talking about how much somebody grows over a number of years. And you can see that in the left-hand column of that data table, it shows you what they uh, their height was in centimetres at certain parts of their life. So you can see the first one's when they were born, and you can see that their height was 50 centimetres. You can see that at two years of age, it was 85 centimetres four years of age, 100 centimetres, and all the way up to 12 years of age, where it's 145 centimetres. Now you can see that that's been Sorry. plotted on the graph by uh, using the plots along the way, and we've joined them together. So the first thing that I want you to be very aware of that a lot of people make mistakes on, is they make a mistake by plotting the first plot always down here in the bottom corner. This is called the origin. And we definitely don't want to be plotting from our origin. We want to be plotting from our first actual measurement. So here, our first actual measurement is 50 centimetres. So we actually started up here, right next to 50 centimetres. Then we go to the next one, which was 2. We work our way up, and then we go to 85, which is between 80 and 90. And we put our dot down. We then join that using our ruler. Now, I'm going to make this really clear, gents. It is super important that you use your ruler during graphing to make sure that they are accurate. So we need to make sure our X and Y axes are graphed uh, using a ruler. We need to make sure that our lines, when we're drawing between our dot, uh, plotted dots, are also used with a ruler. I'll make sure that's really clear. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how I plot and how I continue on a graph. So here's my graph I had before, but I've been given four more, three more measurements. The three measurements that I've been given are three uh, projected heights. Uh, one for 14, one for 16, and one for 18 uh, years. So what I would do here, gents, is I would then look at my 14, and I'd go down the bottom. And you can see here's 14 down the bottom. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow that line all the way up until I get to 165. Now I know that 165 is between 160 and 170. And then I'm going to put that dot down. So I'm going to put a little dot down there so that I can join it up in a minute. I'm then going to go to 16, I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to go all the way up to 175, which is between 170 and 180, and my last one is 18 years, and I'm going to go up to 190, and I'm going to put my dot down there at 190. All I have to do now is get my ruler, and I'm going to join those dots up. Now, gents, I'm going to make this really clear, I don't have a ruler option on uh, my flipped classroom teaching uh, tool that I use. So I'm going to join them up trying to make my line as straight as possible. It is super important when you are drawing your graph that you use a ruler here. So I'm going to draw these lines in, draw that line in there, and then draw that line in there. Now gents, I'm going to remind you again of the, the six things that I'm looking for again. I'm looking for your x-axis drawn correctly, uh, gaps even, and also with your class intervals the same. I'm looking for the same thing on the y-axis. I'm looking for a main title, a y, an x-axis title, and I'm looking for correct data plotted and drawn with a ruler. 
that would get you six marks. Uh, obviously, gents, really important to get all those aspects. Easy six marks if you remember those six steps.